Hard work. It sucks, doesn't it? Or does it make you happy? We're talking about that next. What do we got here? What's going on? You Labor. look you look like you're working. You're supposed to be filming a video. You know, one of the secrets to happiness is work. Happiness takes work. Nothing in this life is free. <laughs> you laugh now, yeah. but you know it's true. Really, the harder you work, the happier you feel. So when we say keep up the good work, mm -hmm. we mean get up, get off the couch, and go do something. Now, in other episodes, we've alluded to the fact that happiness takes effort. And we've even you know, specifically mm -hmm. said that sometimes physical labor actually gets you happier. Yeah. So that's what we would like to call an instant upper. Yes. If at this very moment you're watching this, you go, I'm watching this because I want to be happier. We'll quickly cut to the chase. Turn us off and sure. go do something physical, yeah. something that you maybe don't want to do. Now, those of you that are 12-ish, 13-ish, and we know you're out there, if you're like me, the last thing in the world I wanted to do was work around the house, right? Dad would say, hey, go mow the lawn, <laughs> right? I just did not like to do it. However, after doing it a few times, I started to learn the tips and the tricks. And one thing my dad said, I will never forget. He said, if you're going to do a job, you might as well do it right. Right? So I went out and I started mowing the lawn and pretty soon by the time I had my own house with my own front and backyard, it became therapy for me. I looked forward to Saturdays having that one maybe hour and a half time to where I could just be out pushing the mower and doing the edging and doing the weed eating. And I still didn't really look forward to doing it, but I kind of did yeah. because it cleared my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing, once you just get going, once the muscles yeah. are in motion, once the sweat starts to beat on your forehead, is when you start to feel that sense of sad... Disfaction. Thank you. I do huh. that to my kids a lot. Yeah. You ever do that to Sydney? No. Oh. She's only one month old. No, I'm just kidding. She's seven. <laughs> I'm saying, you know, you leave a blank for them to answer. It has nothing to do yeah. with happiness, yeah. but I, I get a kick out of it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 I got a kick out of it. Yeah. What's that from? Anyway, I don't know. so this is interesting. You think about the happiest place on earth. Oh, Disneyland. Think about Disneyland, yeah, right? Yeah. It even says it on the sign, the happiest place on earth. So if somebody wants to be happy, they might automatically think, I'm going to Disneyland. Sure. Let's go to Disneyland. Yeah. That place will make me happy. Mm -hmm. But I want to illustrate my point when I say happiness takes work. If you've ever been to Disneyland with your family, with your kids, alone, with your girlfriend, whoever, are you kidding me right now? You think that you're just going to show up at Disneyland and getting happy isn't going to take work? Literally just finding a parking space uh, takes work. Yeah. It may take you an hour or more. Waiting for the shuttle bus from the parking lot to the turnstiles just to get into the park to begin the queue to, to get into the turnstiles tickets. to buy the tickets Ooh. to then go through the turnstiles in a long line to get into the park. Finally, that's already especially with kids and, and coolers and all the things that you've had to prepare at the crack o dawn before you even leave. I, I took my son John through Disneyland uh, last spring. It was actually during spring break, the single worst time and space decision I have ever made in my life. Let's take my child to Disneyland on spring break. Huh. For some reason, nobody warned me. And did yeah. they have to? that it was going to be insane. After the first few hours before we were even in the park, I turned to him with, as they were stamping his hand or putting the wristband on and I said, John, you will soon discover that having fun is sometimes the hardest work that you will ever do. Mm -hmm. Some of your best vacations, some of your funnest times, think about it. They required a great deal of preparation, planning and execution. And all of that, my friends, is work. Work can lead to happiness. Yeah. It doesn't just happen automatically. Yeah. You know, I, th I think of our, my, my wife and I and my daughter, seven years old, Sydney, uh, we got to spend Christmas all of December in Germany in last Deutschland. year. In Deutschland. Now, there's no way Der in the Vaterland. world that is correct. But uh, there's no way that we could have done that 
had I not worked for it, right? Had I not saved the miles and saved money, but even so it was work getting over Just there. Just to do the vacation yeah. is work. Yeah, we get, we get seven hour delayed because Atlanta airport was closed. It was frozen over. So, you know, then you got to go all the way to Paris. Then you got to go compare to, blah, 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 blah. oh yeah, sounds like a real tough life, Jeff. Well, yeah, it, it kind of, it sucks There's getting a lot over of there. Inconvenience. That's, yeah, that's one of the reasons why we hate to travel over there is because of the work involved getting over there. But I'm telling you, you put the work in, once you get there, ah, now we got three weeks to watch German television without me yeah. speaking a lick of German. And, and how long, and now let me ask you the follow up question how long into those three weeks of doing nothing? and hanging out until you were dying oh, yeah. to get up and actually yeah, do yeah, yeah. something yeah. that probably required work. Yeah, yeah. You let's... know, you envision yourself just stretching out on a beach, a German beach. Claro. <laughs> where they're not wearing, you know, bikinis, they're yeah. wearing babushkas yeah. or whatever. Maybe that's Russia. That's Russia. But I mean, yeah. I'm just saying, you know, you go on a beach vacation and you lay around for about a day tops and you're like, all right. What's next? Let's okay. do something. Been there, done that. Yeah, right? do something. So yeah. right now, this very second, you're watching this, as I mentioned, and you need a quick upper. Get up, get out. It's mm. spring where someone lives in the world right now. I'm sure of it. It's always spring somewhere. There's always yard work to be done. There's always garbage to be taken out. There's always dishes to be washed. There's something you can do that will require a little effort. And that effort almost immediately will turn into happiness. See, he's, he's I learning. got it. I'm getting it now. Filled in the blank. So are you ready to go to work? Do a little elbow grease, whatever it is you got going on, we hope so. And uh, a little work right now would be hitting the like button, subscribe button if you haven't done already. Tell a friend. See you next time. And so on.